In the previous tutorial, we covered how to work with Docker images, and now we will cover how to work with Docker containers. So let's do first Docker images. We see that we don't have any images, and to list the containers, the command for that will be Docker ps a. So let's type Docker ps a, and we see that we don't have any containers either. So to create a container, the command for that will be docker run hyphen it for interactive, hyphen d for detach, and hyphen p for the ports. We will map port 8080 to port 80, 8080 for our machine and 80 for the container. And we can give it a name with hyphen hyphen name. The name will be service one. And of course it has to be each container uh, has to be based on an image. So we will base it on httpd image. Now if we do docker images, we see that we have the httpd image. And if we do docker ps hyphen a, we see that we have container with the name service1 based on the image httpd. And the port is... 80 for the container, 80, 80 for our machine. It has been up for nine seconds. So if we want to access it, we can get the public IB and access the port for the machine. We mapped it to port 8080. And as we can see here now, it works. We can access the service on the container. Now let's of course you can rename the container stop it start it restart it but I'm more concerned about the link so let's link a container to the first container that we have in here to do that the command will be docker the same command run hyphen interactive hyphen D for detach hyphen hyphen name this time we will name it service 2 and we will use hyphen hyphen link to link it with service one and we have to base it on an image it'll be based on Ubuntu now if we type docker images We see that we have the Ubuntu image, and if we type docker ps hyphen a, we see that we have our second container service 2, and it's based on Ubuntu image. It has been up for 18 seconds. We can execute this container, the command for that will be docker execute hyphen interactive, and we can refer to the container by its name or by its ID. And we'll use the command bash. So let's type the command docker execute hyphen interactive and the container is service2. The command is bash. Now we're inside our container. Let's update the container apt update hyphen y and upgraded at the same time so apt upgrade hyphen y and we can also apt install a curl hyphen y we're installing curl so we can check if this uh, container is connected to the first container we will use curl to curl the httpd service in there so let's uh, first cat etc and here we have the hosts we see here that we have two hosts this one is for this container and we have service one is here which means that it's connected. 
So to curl it, we can get this IP and use curl. And as we can see here now, it works. This container is connected to the first container and vice versa. And you, you can check by installing something here and check it from there. So if we want to commit this container, I mean create an image from this container, let's exit. Check the images first. We have two images. And check the containers. We have two containers. Now we want to commit the second container. To do that, the command will be docker commit. And the container, of course, we can refer to it by its name or by the container ID. Let's do the name service2. And we should give it, give the image a name. The name will be service to image no spaces and now if we check the images let's clear things we see that we have the third image the one that was created from the second container if we want to remove a container, let's do docker ps hyphen a. And if we want to remove a container, we can type the command docker remove. Since it's it's been up for quite a while, we should stop it first, then remove it, or we can force the removal. So uh, docker remove hyphen force, and then refer to the container that we want to remove. Let's remove service one and service to both at the same time and now if we check the containers we don't have any because we just removed them you can also use the command docker container prune to remove all stopped containers but first you have to stop the containers if they're not stopped and you can kill the running containers with the command docker kill docker ps hyphen q this is it for this tutorial see you in the next one where we're, where we will cover docker storage see you then